what's up guys today we're going to be doing this earth zoom in effect so the first step is to download google earth pro it's a free download and i'll leave a link down below so you can go get it so the first thing you want to do when you open up google earth pro is search for the location that you want to zoom into the more detailed the better on this so i'm just going to put in empire state building and then click search so the map's going to zoom into the location but what it does is bring up this little tag here which we obviously don't want in the video so a trick to get around this is to click history and that way the search history will go up here which is useful in a second so now what you want to do is zoom all the way out keep going until you want to go as wide as you as you want really and you can even like turn the globe which gives it like um, a cool spin effect at the start the next step is to open up QuickTime and start a new screen recording so because I'm actually screen recording right now to do this tutorial I can't do it but you have to go to file and then click new screen recording and then what you can do is select the part of the screen you want to record so like from this corner all the way down to here you don't want the writing in and then click record so whilst all that's recording what you do is go up here and double click on the location that you saved and that's just going to zoom back into the location without bringing up bringing up that annoying little marker and yeah it's just going to give you a nice clean zoom so once you've done that click stop on the screen recording and save it wherever you want to save it and then let's go back into Final Cut Pro. So once we're in Final Cut Pro, we can add a bit of zoom blur. So let's get the video clip. We can just drag this into the timeline and then scale it up to get rid of the black borders on the sides. Okay, and then what you wanna do is go to your effects tab and let's add a bit of blur. Let's go to zoom blur. We'll just add some zoom blur on this. And you want to go up here to masks, add shape mask, and then click invert masks so that way we'll get the zoom blur effect on the outside instead of the inside Let's make this a bit smaller sort of drag that out and then what you want to do is like keyframe it so if we go to the beginning and put the amount to zero just click on the keyframe button move forward about halfway and then you can turn the amount all the way up around like 40 is pretty good let's move along until we're almost at the subject click the keyframe button again and move along again and just put the amount down to zero so then it will slowly disappear as we get close to the subject just like that i actually added in some clouds um, i'll show you how i did that real quick so i have these clouds right here which i actually found on youtube as like a stock footage i'll leave the link down below and I had to turn the blend mode to add because it had like a black background but that's a cool little touch you can add in and yeah that's pretty much it actually so if we have a look at my original little project here you can see I added some wind effects and also like a spaceship sound effect and yeah that's pretty much it just like it's a pretty cool effect that you can add into your like vlogs or videos to show your location you can literally do it to any location in the world you just have to be really specific so that google earth zooms right into your position and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one